time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. It's the franchise where I'm shining now. now. <laughs> yes welcome back guys with another entry in the werewolf the apocalypse chronicle with our little group and yes i opened it up with john cena's theme song because it is it is our, our runes time now and and playing our runes a bonar runs with papers is forest say hi <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start the part this like I always do with a with a couple questions about how it runs with papers, just so we have a good idea of what to do with this character. Right. Okay, so my character was born in, born in this Washington State. Mm -hmm. Has kinfolk there, and one of his kinfolk is a human and he went to serve in Afghanistan runs with papers uh, as his cousin so he followed him there and they both did, ser both did service there now while there he underwent his first change and this was uh dragging his kinfolk out of a cave uh fighting isis so yeah. So, yeah. This. Yeah. We'll. So that's probably where we're definitely gonna open up the, open up the prologue, like right before, or everything just goes those tits up sideways, whatever. But yeah, at this point in his life, I mean, it's fair to say he doesn't know that werewolves exist, right? That's um. I would say. I say you're correct. Probably neither, uh, ne neither one of the him or his kinfolk do. Yeah, so. Okay, so he's no, so he doesn't. As far as he knows, werewolves are just they just only exist in fiction, and that's. Uh, I'd say that's accurate. Yeah. All right. So okay, we have. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't know they exist. Um. Trying to think what else. Trying to think what else. Uh, I mean, like, was there any? Okay, I mean, you said he set, went to serve in Afghanistan. Like, I think I remember you putting down in his, on his prologue originally that it was the French Foreign Legion. Yes. So runs with papers, and his cousin, both enrolled in the French Foreign Legion. And his, his cousin did this, and uh, you know, he just sort of followed suit. He was uh, he was a little bit young to join the U.S. military, but was just old enough to join the French Foreign Legion. Was there a reason they went for the French Foreign Legion and not the regular U.S. military? Well, yes, yes. and in that the French Foreign Legion you know, accepts all walks of life and they genuinely, genuinely accept them, you know, uh, um, even uh, people that other militaries worldwide would reject, you know, so there's a, a bit of, um, bit of, um, phone dollar mindset of acceptance there. Okay. Uh, did they try joining the U S military? Like joining the joining the U.S. Army and just couldn't get in. No, his his cousin just joined the French Foreign Legion, and he followed suit when um, uh, he found out he was too young to uh, join the U.S. military. All right. So I'm getting I'm getting the sense like he and his cousin are pretty tight with each other, right? Oh yeah. Like. Like they're, like they're about the closest, closest they thing they've got to brothers. Yes. So um, both of them were just uh, single children. 
in their, in their immediate families. All right, then. Okay. Now, another thing with bone, another thing that's big with like bonars is that uh, they're is that they're scrappy and they're survivors. Is that that describe runs with papers at this point still? Oh, definitely. Like, um, uh, he was, he's willing to go last, but he's also willing to do whatever it takes. Now, I'll mention this about bone dollars, a little bit of what I think about bone dollars and why they're survivors. They're, they're the Omega tribe, and th this is like bone dollar, bone dollar philosophy 101. The survivors are the ones who don't go first. Hmm. Well, unlike the Geta Fenris. Or, or like the Silver Fang or, you know, some of the other tribes mm -hmm. of kinda, the Shadow Lords. They're kind of like more like Betas, you know? No, like the, like the, like like the yeah, Shadow Lords, they're the Betas, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're, they're the Betas of the uh, Guru Nation. Yeah. You know, they'll, those three tribes would probably like jump in, you know. Well, the way I see it, well, way I see it going is get offenders. They jump in first because that's what they do, and so, while Silver Fangs and Shadow Lords just watch from behind. Whereas, but with Silver Fangs, it's about uh, uh, glory and honor, you know. With get offenders, mm -hmm. you know, it's just about being strong and proving that you're strong. You know, they really don't. It's not like a a social political thing to me with them. But they get, they just want to jump in just to fight, you know, yeah. but they, they'll do it first right before a bone order would. Yeah. If I'm another, thing I remember correctly was that back during the Impergium, the bone orders got used as shock troopers. It, that's correct. They were, uh, they were, and in the war of rage and it's much to their, um, they didn't, they didn't want to do it. You know, but like, this this sort of like because uh, what I okay just not to interrupt you, but I remember reading the book and it said that they that they were kind of happy to do it because they made them useful. Um, that's true, but um, it's not entirely true. Do you see? I mean, they, this is where they live. You know, they live in cities with humans. They had, and, and it's um, it's they almost did. always been the case. Okay, so it was more like they did it, but they had reservations. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because from what I remember, like the only tribe I can think of that was like actually make that two, tri the only two tribes that were actually opposed to the Impergium and the War of Rage were, well, actually more the Impergium than the War of Rage were the Glass Walkers and the Children of Gaia. Yes, yes. Children guy, because they're all peace snakes and gl and the glass walkers. Well, at that time they were the warders of men, and that was because they had they were the only ones really breeding with with humans. And the, <clears throat> we were we were discussing had how, how they had reservations. You got to remember, like bone dollars aren't entirely city dwellers, you know, not yeah, like the glass walkers. Yes, yeah, glass walkers are in the country. Easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll, in fact, a uh, a good bit live in the country. You know, they got an entire. Uh, they got an entire camp dedicated to living in the countryside, you know, uh, the hill folk. So, whereas, you know, the yeah. Glasswalkers, yeah. every one of their people, you know, they're just sea dwellers, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. But, yeah. And another thing to, another thing about Runs of Papers is he's also our pack of rune. Yeah, so he's the warrior. He's born under the warrior men. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, but him being the Arun, that also means because like the thing about Arun's guys is that they're the ones with the most rage. Yes. And uh you know, there's like this um I was sort of discussing in our uh group chat about how when you're born a werewolf, you know, um there's there's these different labels, but the one of the labels you cannot change by virtue of being associated with something is the moon you're born under. And it's, it's the, 
the to me it's the job that Gaia gives you in life. You know, it's the role you fulfill. So being under, born under the warrior moon, you know, um, he's he's likely to do things that um, people who aren't born under the warrior moon. Yeah, but that's all, yeah, but him being like also the most like having the most rage, like he's pro like he's also prone to maybe being the most reckless. He's going to rush in where other where others won't. He'll Yeah, so if if you were to make a comparison to like um moons to tribes, you know, um the rune would be like the get of Fenris of moons. <laughs> well they did well duh, they Although I wouldn't say they're I mean, they're 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 warmongering, but they're not exclusively a rune. That's true. That is true. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm making like a generalization. I, I, yeah, I, mean, I get what you say. I mean, get what you're saying. I mean, like a, but let me put it this way: like you're not like the get of Fenris aren't exclusively a rune. Like the Fionn are exclusively okay. Galliard. Like it's not, not. It doesn't work like that. In fact, there's some like uh, intellectuals and things like that in the get of Fenris, from what I can remember. You know, and also like the the get of Fenris, they have like gifted. They have their own own mystics. They have they have yes, storytellers. They have like so it's correct. it's more like the let me put it this way: like uh, your auspice is what you are as an individual, whereas your tribe is how you relate to your group. Yes, and, and like um, the mistake could be making that like you know uh, that makes them too. Uh, it's sort of a side note. I'll mention this while I get it, like that they're. Uh, misogynistic and they're really not they believe that if a woman can hold her own and she can be just as brutal and strong as any man they'll they'll recognize her as the you know the uh the big dog <laughs> you know if she's able to challenge everyone and like beat the hell out of them guess who's in charge that woman yeah um yeah but yeah, you're right. Like uh, that, it's the stereotype, you know, and it's not the, uh, it's not always the the standard, you know. Well, yeah, true. Um, and, and like, like, I mean, it's not like ever Fiona's constantly getting drunk off his ass, and the Silver Fangs aren't aren't all like this. Well, I mean, like Silver Fangs probably try to keep up appearances, but that's what they're about. Now, one of the drawbacks you have though in life to being born a bone dollar is you cannot have resources. You can't. So, no, well, really, because my understanding was like, like no one really is born to the bonars. They uh, they just find it because they got nowhere else they can go. So they can't they can't take past lives, resources, or um, what else was it? Past resources, probably um, let's see what else. Or that? pure breed. Oh. They can't take those three. Oh, they yeah, not have those backgrounds by yeah, virtue they, of being born a bone dollar. I mean, maybe it's not born in the sense I'm, not, sense I'm thinking, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I guess a, I guess a good way to play to I guess a good way to ask this is like, um, what what is like your typical bone hour or rune like? Okay, so the um the the stereotype for bone hour warriors, you got to remember their totem is rat, so. You know, I, I, didn't child, really, I really did not get how red is a war totem because when I think red, I think of something that's more cunning than war or like. Think of it like this this way the Black Plague. I guess. Mm. How, how many populate how many how many of Europe's population was destroyed in three months? A third. Sandy mm. seventy five percent of all Europe Europeans died in under three months because of Rat carrying a flea. That's how a rat fights. In fact, you know, rat fights dirty, but I mean, it's just like, but rats are also survivors. Yes, they are. You remember, rats are vectors of disease. There's a difference between being infected and being a vector. Hmm. Okay, okay, I see. I guess I can kind. Of, I guess I can kind of see it, and like, still think rat makes a better. And her cunning totem than a war one, but I didn't make the game, so whatever. I mean, um, a lot of it's like if you were to like um compare like you know apples and oranges, you know, from the war totems that exist, Wendigo, 
um, Thunier, you know, Rat, um, Griffin. Oh, yeah. You know, um, out of the war totems, I think he's the more cunning of them. Okay, I see. Yeah, I see. Like because because um, Rat Rat, you know, like you said, he's a survivor, and you know they a group of rats will prefer to fight in a um large numbers, and you know they'll sort of like just bite and nibble and gnarl until you're gone, you know um. Okay, that's if you if you put all your stock into one, you know, one basket, you know, you if you lose that basket, it's sort of like having the difference between having a cow and a group of chickens. You know, like uh that, that cow dies, you know, it, you're you're done. You know, but if, if the group of chickens, if you lose a chicken out of like twelve chickens, you know, it's, it's not okay. really that big of a deal. Yeah, I think I get it. So like um I guess I guess we use a wrestling use a wrestling analogy as I am want to do. So if that that could be gonna, that could be one thing. If rats are gonna fight, they're they're gonna fight more like Edge or CM Punk. Also, um, I would say like you know, um, gang affiliated activity with um, bone dollar runes. You know, um, some of their some of their gifts, like Riot. You know, so stuff like so like stuff out of the Warriors. I don't think I've ever seen that. You never saw the Warriors. No. What, dude? That's an awesome movie. Warriors come out to play. Um. You know they're not gonna have uh, mentioning their drawbacks. They're not gonna have you know a lots of cash unless they steal it. And then they're not above doing that. Well, they're yeah, they're done cash. It. Yeah, but even then, like if a it's a bonar custom that if he does come into like a large amount of cash, he has to give it away. Yes, it it is custom, and you'll be looked down upon. Like you might necessarily like be cast out or killed, unless it's like you know obscene. You know, like if you did something, like you got a gross amount of money, and you know you off somebody's cousin to get it or something like that. Um, but you know they will shun you for it. You know they don't yeah. like a. If you got a ton of cash, you're not, if you got a ton of cash, you're a pariah in the bonars. But if you got a ton of stuff, you're okay. Yes, yes. And more specifically, what they look for, bone dollars look for, is like uh, they're junk trollers. So they'll pack they'll rats. Upon, they're pack yes. rats, if you will. <laughs> yes, they'll come upon stuff that's like that has some sort of like half life value. You know, it might be like a. Uh, Oh, what's a good instance? It has to be something like unique and special. Or in other words, they'll, they'll just trash it and make something different from it. You know, it's what I read from the book. Yeah. The yeah, book also said there's not really a standard to it. It's all up to the individual not bonar's tastes. Yeah. Because you give like a bonar or a hundred dollar pocket watch, you know, like. What the hell to do with that? And this is going to hang it on. They're like. Their their shopping cart, you know, <laughs> they're going down the street. Yeah, um, yeah. The th bonar carriages, they're like the biggest pack rats in the tribe, aren't they? Yes, they are. So the and it and it's a status symbol for them too. So um, one of the things that give them like a well, it's not a because the way they gain renown in the tribe. Is how much they contribute to the tribe, but uh, it is sort of a status symbol for them, you know, to walk around with the most junk, you know, and it, it can be like something like you know an a an Atari or something, you know, like um. And I'll mention this that bone dollars and glass walkers are some of the actually the only two tribes that can take things that are like normally considered profane, like Nintendo Entertainment Systems stuff that would be pertained Yes. And uh, turn it into fetishes. Like other tribes get penalized for that. The glass walkers and bone dollars do not. Okay. So you might take like an old Atari or something like that. And that would be like, you know, something precious to a bone dollar. Because it has, you know, nostalgic value, you know. 
it's from a bygone age. You know, like, well. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Like anything that's Weaver Tanner, like say even like weapons, because like I know like the like get a Fenris and Fiona, they're not opposed to using technology if they if it's useful to them. Like that is true, but why it is true, they will lose renown for doing so. Bone knowlers and glasswalkers do not. Okay, so if I get so if I get a Fenris as like a fetish fetish rifle, he's gonna lose renown for it. Well, not I'm not necessarily saying that because that that is a weapon, you know. Um, but if they had like a Nintendo Entertainment System, I they see. would lose renown for it. Okay, I see. Like if okay, if we're talking weapons, it's okay for them. From what I understand, yes, it has to be something like profane, like you know. It seems like sort of like a, a little bit whimsical or, you know. Something um, they wouldn't get any use out of. Or something that could have like, you know, a uh, degree of, you know. Um, ill influence, you know, on the uh, user. So, um, as we were discussing, typical room bone dollars are, you know, going to be like a. Some good instances here. Because, like I said, the first thing I'm thinking of is like something like Out of the Warriors, but you didn't see that movie, so <laughs> kind of a bit lost. What, what really, what really brings a uh, bell to me, what comes to mind is Max from Mad Max. Oh yeah, you know, that's, oh, that's yeah, a definitely. Thing. Yeah, Ma yeah, Max. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I definitely see that. Um, there's also, I guess you could also say like Casey Jones from from Ninja Turtles. And I think we did. We lose you. No. Oh crap. Mm. Well, we're okay. We're gonna see if we can get him back. Oh, there you are. Like, yeah, another thing I was thinking of was like a uh, Casey Jones from Ninja Turtles. That would be perfect. Casey Jones, he's got a he's got a collection of junk. You know, he fights. You know, and he um his purpose. You know, and uh, yeah. he's scrappy and uh, he's kind of stupid. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's sort of hanging out in the slums and like a you know, actually yeah. on society. Casey does not, doesn't he? I mean, like a, I mean, like it seems like Casey just said he just lives like a normal guy. Or about I mean, if you think about it, he's like he's always up in every time you see him, he's always up in the ghetto. I don't know if his backstory was ever revealed. Like where it it depends on was. depends on which version you're looking at. Well, the one I come from is like the original Ninja Turtle series, so. But in any case, I think he would make a good Arun phone dollar. Yeah. I'll even Raphael's a good Arun if you have good. I mean, fuck, the Ninja Turtles themselves are practically a bone or a pack. Pretty much, yes. I mean, their, men their mentor is a rat. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, uh, Max from Mad Max, uh, Casey Jones from Ninja Turtles... Rolls, uh, let's think, uh, Luke I've also mentioned that I've also mentioned in our lobby about rats, something about rats. Yeah. Out of all the other war totems, rat is the only one that has teeth that get sharper every time it bites something. I think this is very important to remember about rat. So, um, I think rats, whereas, you know, cockroach adapts. Rat learns some it, from its fights. That could be like a little bit of a compa city comparison to like the two tribes living in the city, you know, and well, how yeah, they. Yeah, yeah but I mean, from. well, yeah, I mean, like even if you compare their histories, it just makes sense. And like the the glass walkers, I mean, like they changed their name like at least four times. Yeah, times, and they've always been like the first first to like get in to to adopt modern technology of the times, and they've always been. Like and they've always been with this hung around cities and, and humans, 
Wins Wars Bonars because they've always been on they've always been on the lower end, and they've always kind of had to sur- had to survive, and that's what they've done, and they'll do whatever ever it takes. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I think that's I think we've got enough to work with. We'll start off doing run runs this prologue proper, and we'll do it with a dream. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so you get runs with papers. He's in the middle of a giant trash. Crash heap. He looks up at the sky. He sees a full moon. At his at his feet, he sees rats scurrying everywhere. One of the rep. One of the rats sneaks up behind him and bites him on the ankle. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. More rats start to nibble at him. Is, am I in the dream world right now? Yeah, you're still... Yeah, you're in the dream. Mm-hmm. He looks... He looks desperately for a weapon, anything he can use. Pull up just a handful of garbage, start whacking them. Yeah. Sees a lead pipe. You gonna go for it? That'll work. <laughs> so, like, trying to, like, brush them off, like, ferociously. Keep swinging at him. More, rat- more rats, ke- rats keep coming at him. He l- he looks for something large he can use to clear clear the area. Like can uh, I being held down by anything? Can I like stand up? No, um, I don't think so. You're just trying to you're just trying to look for some you're just trying to look for something like you can use like crowd control or something like a like something you can something large you can roll like a tire or something something to at least make the rats scatter to give you some space. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I can like fall back into the trash heap. Yeah. All right. That's also an option. Yes. Cat starts like b- bombarding with everything I can like toss at them. Yeah. All while like trying to b- bury myself. Yeah. You try to go. Yeah. You try to. You di- You dive for the. You try diving. I for the trash heap just to get at the safety. Yeah. yeah. You lose the rats. They don't. They don't seem to follow you. So you try to try to sink in a little deeper just to get out of sight. <clears throat> but yeah. you then you start to fall back, and you feel like you're falling for. Then you hit ground, and you see that you this big rat. Holy shit! How big is it? Size of a man. Jeez, this is like the king rat. Yeah. All right. Ask him. Ask it. Who are you? They just call me Rat. Pause for a minute. We'll be back, guys. Let's check. Let's go checking out the. Uh, Daniel Eller says, "Where Rat?" Mm, thinking it's more like it's like it's the totem. If you watch the other, watch the other parts, you notice that, or that all our characters they meet meet their totems in their dream.
Do 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 I feel you, man. Like that was that was yesterday for me. It was Seattle. It rains there every day. I'm not in Seattle. I'm in what, but I am in, but I am an hour south of it. It's what, but that it's Western Washington mostly. That's what happens when you live between two mountain ranges. Yeah. Okay, so mm, I have many names. Plague King, King Vermin, but most call me just Rat. Okay. You've got good instincts. You're a born survivor, aren't you? I've been my whole life. That's how I've made it here. Survived this long. Oh, you're good. You got a fire in you. I can see it. You're gonna do good. You're about where you're going. You're gonna feel like you're about to enter into hell, but trust me. You just li you listen to your instincts. You aren't gonna make it through, and you're gonna go on to do great things. The dream ends. Wakes, wakes up and is, wakes up at his camp in Hamburg, in Afghanistan. Is it daytime or nighttime? Actually, I, I think I might. I don't know. Cause, uh, pretty. Did the French Foreign Legion wake up to Reveille? I don't know. I'm over certain they do. I think I've seen it, but I can't confirm that. I think I think I've just seen something that looks like Revly. You know, I can't like say we're positive. We'll just yeah, we'll we'll say you get route. We'll say it's like uh, we'll say it's night time. Okay. Night time because. Your cousin roused you up. Hey, Paul, John, John, wake up. I'm supposing I have my rifle somewhere nearby. <laughs> yeah, pro probably. I mean, you're at yarn, you're like your bunk at the camp, so yeah, I would assume that. All right. John, come on, suit up. We're suit up. We got it's time to go. Get up and uh, start to go. Head out. Make sure I got everything on me. Vest, ignition, rifle, mess kit, all that good stuff. All right. All right. You meet with you. You meet with your, you meet with your lieutenant and whole whole units there. Let's say he's a, say he's a, we'll say he's a German guy. Or, yeah, I mean like French Foreign Legion, you have ever like French Foreign Legion, they got like everyone from every nationality, right? Yeah, pretty much. They, they, yeah, they've had you name a country, they've had them. Except maybe Switzerland. Actually, no, of course they would have. Oh my kidding, they probably did did have Switzerland too. I mean, just you know the you know just the joke because Switzerland's always neutral. Yeah, and who gets if somebody wants to join the military there? Who gets a chance to fight in a war in a country where you're always neutral? So, and, got, and have a natural mountain border. Yeah. Uh, so. Although, if you're in the Swiss Guard, you do get to be you, you do get to guard the Pope, so that's pretty cool. And you get some of the best knives in the world. True. Mm. 
Yani. Oh, rahatım. Rahatım ben. We, we traced an icy cell to, uh, to this mountain range. They've taken a... We are going to smoke these out. Oh, yeah. Dan Daniel R. say, yeah, they wait till Reveille. Yeah. We are going to hit them in this mountain range. Mountain range and... Our orders are to take no prisoners. It's a, simple, it's a simple surprise attack. We get in, kill them all, and leave as soon as we're uh, as soon as we get there. We oui, Capitan. I'm a, I, I, let, uh, let Lieutenant. I believe it's sorry. Pause at a at a game. I think it's a French word actually. It's like it's like let's tenant left in the tendency of somebody so I, but i don't know how to say uh lieutenant in french <laughs> i don't yeah well you're not in bad company i took i took spanish in the 10th grade and i was a c student at best I speak a lot of spanish um some german and japanese that's about it they only offered french spanish and german at my high school All right. Any questions? Are there any questions? All right. Suit up and get on the chopper. <laughs> That's a totally old sort of nigger reference. Okay. <laughs> Unintentional, but yes. <laughs> this is, this is, it's going to really suck to like fight without my powers. And it's like... uh. Oh, I guess this rinky dink gun. <laughs> like, okay. not to fight in Fomori <laughs> with a rifle as a human to begin with. <laughs> All right, so you get you guys, you guys, you guys will as as load up into the up into the choppers. They take off, and uh, well, let's uh, let's have a little mood music music for it. So, uh, yeah. Bunch of slack jaw faggots around here. That stuff will make you a sexual Tyrannosaurus. Just like me. I love that scene with Jesse Ventura. That's great. <laughs> He's a badass. Yeah. Yeah. If I had my way, he'd be president right now. I'd make Jesse Ventura president. Yeah. History. I'm a, I'm indifferent to that, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, you guys get into the mount range and RPG fire. Fuck. <laughs> One of the choppers takes a hit, goes down. Is it ours? Yeah, yeah. It's one of the. F no, it's not yours. It's uh, another. F Another French Foreign Legion chopper. Um, yours is out. Yours is okay, but it's hey, but like a few more RPGs get fired. You take. We're gonna you take evasive maneuvers. Can we get a, uh, ask the uh, pilot? If we can get a uh, reading of where that's coming from. We well, yeah. Looks like it's coming in. Looks like it's coming in two clicks ahead of us. Um, let's try. We'll, we'll roll for some luck to see if you guys can ev evade missiles, evade them, evade RPGs. Okay. Okay, it's a war zone. Should probably make this difficult. Like maybe like an eight. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Especially if the enemy has a surprise attack, and All they're right. on home turf. Yep. Okay, eight. You guys roll a ten. Oh, so now we pass it. We pass it epically. Yeah. You guys. 
Okay. Yes. Okay, guys, we're as we're approaching the LZ. Touchdown. Hit it. Got ISIS soldiers firing at you. Oh, what ball? <laughs> Spraying everywhere. <laughs> Actually, let me see if I can get a sound bite for that. I love all I love all the memes people made with those. I was like, there's even a SpongeBob one. My favorite is uh, Boko Haram. Go Boko Haram. Oh my God! Let's see. So, yeah, fuck. All right. What's okay? What is what is Rums of Paper? What is uh, Rums of Paper is gonna do here? I'm gonna head in the direction. But last seen the uh, the um any kind of lights like uh muzzles at. Mm. Right, let me just look. Uh, yeah. Uh, right here you've got a you got a one in firearms, stealth, survival, form brawl. Also, we should be able to make some use out of that. You're gonna try to go for a. You're gonna go ahead and try for a safer spot to get a better shot. Um. Oh yeah. I will hide behind some uh rocks if there's any rocks or probably any trees. But it's a. Day -day it's a mountain range. I think you've got cover to work with. Yeah. All right. So. Um, so All right. Do you want to try rolling for a shot? Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is going to be, if we're going to roll for a shot, are we this would be a firearm dexterity roll, right? Yes, correct. All right. Three in dexterity, one in firearms. That gives you a four. You're on, and since you're on unfriendly turf, we'll go with a seven, just because you're not, just because you're not in the air and not as, and you got cover, you're not as vulnerable this time. All right. Nine, six, four, and a five. So you get like a. So you get a shot that hits the guy, but doesn't really kill him. That's a wound. Yeah. That's at least something. Yeah. Just make him think twice. Pop his head out. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, okay, your, co your cousin comes in with a, your cousin comes in with an RPG. <laughs> I'll, comes in with an RPG to, RPG to clear the area. Cut. Boom! So, ISIS guys get. F ISIS guys goes f oh, flying all over the place. So, Sergeant comes in. Sergeant comes in. We need to get into that cave! We need, we need to take that cave, man! Go! Go, 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 go! So as my cousin goes first, and I just sort of like uh, dart after him. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you're a bone, are you? The survivor's always the guy who goes last. Yeah. <laughs> right, you guys go. You guys go in. It's when gunfire comes out of the comes out of the cave. It gets the sergeant. He's dead. You guys, you guys take cover over immediately. Have you got grenades on you? Um. Question. I'm just 
I'm assuming. I just assume um, that like it, like every like regular soldier like carries at least like maybe one or two grenades. But then again, I'm go- basing it off video games, which is a bad idea, probably. Um, I would say if not, at least some of them. Well, I do know the American military. You have to know how to throw a grenade. Yeah, that's like that's like in basic, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, so I would assume. You know, since the American military is a standard, you know, they're or at least pretty high up there. You know that. Um, it's at least in the. It, it's at least one of the best militaries in the world. Yeah, I said maybe the French Foreign Legion would have at least one person be a great uh, um, uh, we'll, say, we'll say because your cousin was carrying the RPGs, probably got uh, the explosives. <laughs> right. Ned, clear. Gunfire from the cave stops. And Daniel Eller says they have grenade launchers. Yeah, well, we were just talking about just you know just regular throwing grenades, but you know that's that's good to know. Thanks, Daniel. All right. Uh, oh. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna send you the end of the end it to you just so you can keep up with the keep up with the chat. Uh, all right. So so, so uh, gunfire from the cave stops. You guys figure figure it's probably safe to go. One. We should probably roll a perception check for that though. Seven rolling perception plus uh, survival. Would you say that's a good idea? Perception check plus survival for. Uh, yeah, we're doing. We're trying to make sure it's make sure it's uh, safe to go in. All right. Okay. That's about there. Yeah. Okay. Three on unfriendly turf. On unfriendly turf. So let's seven. Nine. Seven and a three. So as far as you can, t- you don't detect any immediate threats. Cousin pulls out his se- cousin pulls out a secondary weapon, shotgun. Alright. Follow. I'll take point. Fall behind me. All behind me, John. Okay. I mean, cover me, John. (laughs) As you guys keep going, going further and further, You find you guys keep going further and further. Uh, let's see what's a good what's a good thing to do over here. You guys come at a you got you come at a corner. Another perception check. Seven. Two successes, uh, and a uh, one, and a one. Now uh, that that gives us a botch, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Have one success. All right. You don't detect them. You don't detect any immediate threats right now, but that does. But that doesn't last. ISIS get. ISIS tries to has to ambush us, you guys. Ice jumps up, jumps your cousin. He's got a he's got a machine heady in hand. Or a big shot ma- at him. Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll go for that. Dexterity plus plus firearms, which is another four roll. Good. 
Now, since you're up close and personal, that I think we can decrease the difficulty down, down to a five. Three successes. Motherfucker's dead. <laughs> Some sheen gun his head. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, John, what would I ever do without you? No cuz. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure let's let's check, make sure it's safe again. One more another perception check. Difficult. Some difficulty at seven, and you got no successes here. All right. It's a failure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So get. So you can't. You can't see any. So you guys are pretty, pretty much just gonna go in without even shit. I'm just gonna go without even checking, I guess. Or are you just, or if there's a threat, you will, you are not gonna see it coming. But that's, you know, that's good. But that's good. Yeah. Uh, ISIS jumps you. ISIS guy jumps you. <laughs> you are, you are die infidel. Allah commands it! You try, you're, rest, you're very much wrestling with this guy. I he... I, he's got a... He's, he's wrestled away your rifle. And he's got a, th he's got a throw to your neck. Like you were just barely hold, holding it back. <laughs> you wanna wanna go for your sidearm and see if you can get him? Yeah. Alright. And I just accidentally tossed one of my die. Up close, right on top of you, setting it at three. Six, 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 and a ten. Success. <laughs> yeah, you got the. I mean, like, yeah, suck. Pistol blows the fucker's head off. I just. Am I the one kind of? Am I the only one amazed that you got three sixes on this roll? <laughs> oh. It just seems sort of like crazy. Yep. All right. Okay, we can. Okay, man, we cannot afford it or getting jumped anymore. We've got to figure. All right, damn, Alan, a surprise. We got to. We got to be able to see any of these fuckers coming. Got flares. More than likely. Yeah. All right, let's toss him. Room illuminates, so now your so now your perception difficulty drops. <coughs> All right. Okay, we're gonna. So now that you can see, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it down, roll a perception check for five. Ten, five, two, three. So you got two successes. You le so. And on the and on the cave wall, you notice something. You just notice something scratched. You know, some kind of symbol, but it doesn't look like it's Muslim. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's weird. That's not like. What does it look like? It looks like a spiral. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, this is weird. Muslims aren't into spirals, are they? No, they're not. I do have a one in a cult, but. Oh, no, actually, yeah, you do. I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to redo. Yeah, let's, re let's do that shit. Let's roll that. So that brings us down to a three. See if you can, see if you can examine it. And then it's. Yeah, not, you haven't had your first change yet, so you're probably not familiar with you're not familiar with the Gaura ways yet. So, this is, it, maybe I can measure that the the where it looks like um sort of creepy and like yeah, like you can you at least off. at least know you get at least get a bad vibe. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna roll for. Yeah, I'm gonna. Since you've never seen this before, I'm gonna put you at. I'm trying to figure out what a fair difficulty is for this. Like you've never seen it before, so prop nine seems like it's way like that's way too hard. Like that's just not like that's unfairly hard. I wouldn't say lower than a four or higher than a seven, somewhere in that range. We'll put it at a five. Go either way. Okay. Two successes. You are deaf. You don't know what this thing is, but it. But you get out of bad vibe from it. Very bad vibe. Like you know, this is this is seriously wrong. Hey, John, come over here. I go over there to my cousin. You see, you see, you're you're in an open area. What you're seeing looks like what you see in the middle is like a ritual circle. That spiral again, and it looks like there was there was some human sac sacrifice going on. You see. You see uh, people who are taken captive. Looks like they were ritualistically killed. Are the bodies still warm? Let's do it. You got a... Ah, oh, fuck. You got a zero in investigation. I mean, but I'm pretty sure that, like, if I felt them, like, yeah. they would either feel warm or cold. As long as I have senses. Yeah, true. I would say that falls under, like, uh, physical stats or... What's it? No, this this to me this looks more like a like a mental thing, like not perception, a, intelligence, or wits. Probably more intelligence. Um, put you down for let's say let's say for, like your only thing, only things you've got knowledge is are academics, computer, occult, rituals, science, and technology. We could, I don't know, mate. we could probably roll intelligence plus academics, maybe, or perception right. plus academics. Yeah, we could do that. So, so what, it's like if I knew it in a textbook, what body temperature the body. So we roll an intelligence plus right. plus academics or perception plus academics. We'll do a uh, perception plus academics. All right, so. That gives you five. Give you a, and we'll roll. We'll roll out of five. All success. So, is Body, it feel warm? Bodies are warm. Bodies are warm, and there's even, and you can even see some that look. And you can see, like, based on where they were cut, like, this was specific. Like, like, like the cut, you can know, you can see that the cuts are very specific. If it gets to where they're, where they're being cut from, like, uh, what's something that's for, trying to think, like, what's some, what's, uh, what's an organ that comes up, comes up with a lot of value in occult rituals? Uh, 
Yeah, call uh, just, the adrenal, uh, the adrenaline gland, um, well, the pancreas, um, heart. Okay, yeah, you see cuts like around the you see cuts around the heart. You see cuts around the adrenal glands. I, I let my cousin know that these people were recently killed, and that potentially the their killers could be like a. Uh, Can you role play that? Sucking on uh. Can you can you RP that man? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So all right. So okay. So did okay. So just do what. Okay. So do that then. Um. John, what's what? Did, what's it look like? These people were recently killed, and they were killed in a uh, ritualistic manner. Mainly, uh, they they took the adrenaline gland. So they could be all jacked up right now. Jeez. These people are close by based on the uh, body temperature. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I mean, like, this is. N okay, I'm not going to. I'm not saying I'm an expert on Islam or anything, but this is not shit they do. No, this is, uh, this is really out of, uh, out of tune for them. Yeah, these, you know, these guys can have like, I mean, like these guys can act like fucking savages, but they're not into ritual sacrifice. Hmm. Um. I guess we should try to find a blood trail. Okay. Perception. Chin plus. Okay. What are we gonna perception plus? Uh. What are we gonna roll it with? Okay. I should, cause about, I think about the only thing we can maybe roll it with is maybe academics, because I don't know. It could just, but it doesn't look. But if we're trying to look for a blood trail, that doesn't make any sense. Say what? Wits. Oh, uh, yeah, wits. Yeah, um, I think it would be like wits plus primal urge, but I got a zero on primal urge, so just roll my wits. All right, then we'll we'll just roll wits. And I'll set it at five. Two successes. Can I see anywhere where the blood is like gone to or direction? You see a blood trail. Blood trail leading a leading to another another room. I go to that room. In in that room, you see what looks like an ISIS fighter, but he looks like he's feasting on a corpse. I say, put the corpse down. Put your arms up. French foreign legions. He turns and you can see that his face ain't human. Oh shit! He looks like some. Okay, now I now he'll now Forrest will know what this is. Like I'm gonna say that he looks like something out of the Freak Legion. But guys, but uh, you guys are listening. I guess the what's the best? Uh, what's the closest thing they and they'll that'll work? Hills have eyes. Hills have eyes. Uh, let's see what else, let's see what else is there. Um, wrong turn. Wrong. John Copper is the thing. Yes, yes, yes. So, shit like that. Like think like any. Like think like uh, body horror movies, basically. Um, I'm supposing runs the way runs works. He's gonna go ahead and try to fire at him. Well, he's on a run. That's his. That's what they do. Okay, so you want to. Okay, so we're gonna roll for dexterity and firearms. That is yep. at a four. I yep. think. Yeah. Three dexterity, one firearms. Yeah, that's a four. Up close and personal, we'll give. But the uh, see now this guy's probably not. 
Seeing as how this guy's inhu kind of inhuman, he's probably going to be able to shrug a bullet off or two. Yeah. So we should especially, probably probably give especially him. Especially he has like a couple points in worm taint. He could like um, he could have like you know uh, worm hide or something like that. Yeah, we'll just what we do. Yeah, well, we're not going to get into those details. Just we'll just set it at a seven. And two successes out of four. So you can hit. So you hit him, but it doesn't. But it doesn't really. It di it damages him a little. It roar he roars at you, and it just sounds chilling. Like so, Like this. Like this thing chills you to your soul. My hair stand up on my arms. <laughs> Neck. Cousin comes in behind you. What the fuck is that thing? I don't know. It's it was there. Cousin tries to pull out the shotgun to get it. And he just shrug He just shrugs it off. The Fomorian? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's fair, fair to say it's for Mori. You guys keep try trying to fire, but he just keeps coming. Something about the first change is that, oh, uh, at a game like it, it might just happen it usually just just happens yeah i know that yeah uh like if i remember like if i remember in the book like it says like it could be like critical injury could just be rage bolt, rage tr some kind of trauma or even getting bit by another guru or just or it just happens it's because it was time so yeah John, get, John, get behind me! You gonna say anything? You can't fight it alone. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna fight this fucking thing alone. We're just. I. I just want us to get out of here, man. Let's go. Okay. Behind him. Then you, but then your cousin trips up. What's up? He's got some kind of tent. He's got some kind of tendril on the poles and back. Dexterity plus. Dexterity plus strength to or hmm. I figured you were gonna you're gonna try and you gonna try dive back in for him. Yeah, I was gonna say dexterity or strength plus athletics. So you've got, you've got nothing in athletics though. I got a five in strength. <laughs> yeah, it's something I guess. Uh, let's see. We'll we'll just see if you can, we'll just do a strength roll just to see if you can get a grip on him first before you can. And since you're fighting some pretty inhuman, we're gonna set this at six. You've only got two successes, so you're just barely holding on to him. Don't just go. Just leave me. Get out of here. I can't leave you. God, doesn't don't work. John doesn't matter. You've got to survive. That's what you you got to survive. That's the that's what's important. If I survive, it's us together. And then. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 
bum bum in the back of your your in the back of your head here's something you're going to you fight to protect your kin and you're going to fight to survive it's time Kronos. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna another strength roll to get your cousin free, and since you're in Krinos, actually, yeah, since you're in Krinos, that adds an extra four in strength, so that brings you up to a nine die roll. Desperate strength. You haven't learned any gifts yet, though. I guess. Yeah. Wait. What? Uh, Did you like born with gifts though? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Like I don't know. Like I've been going through this like every time, just assuming like they, like they're like they don't have any gifts in them at them yet. I guess there are certain gifts they are going to be born with. Uh, okay, what's uh what kind of what kind of role is desperate strength? Because I don't have I don't have it on hand. I could just, wait, let me let me pull up my uh let me see if I can let me try to pull up the up the PDF. So it's um it's I can burn a point of willpower and roll one die for each health level I have remaining. So Does it say what attributes we're rolling for? Um no, but what I do is I have I have six willpower. I'll drop it down to five, and I'll add seven to my strength. Seven to my strength. Well, that gives you like that gives you like a ten die pool to work with then. Actually, I think more I because think more. in Kronos, you can have five because you've got five strength plus four from being in Kronos. Yes, yeah, so it's nine plus seven. Okay, uh, sixteen. Okay, I have that many. Okay, I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. I'm gonna have to roll in the dit. Well, I'm gonna have to roll in the dish just so I don't lose these. I'll. Ro it's just uh, I'm gonna, and since you're. I'm gonna roll you at a. I'm gonna roll you at a th at a three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, You got fourteen successes. Would that be like a celestial success there? Like I pull him back and like the tendrils just rip the fuck off. Like Morian. Mori roars in pain. <laughs> okay, ready for ready going for the kill. Dexterity plus brawl. Yes. Okay, so you got a four and dex you got a three in dexterity, so that's four. I mean, like that's three plus the one plus the one being in Chronos. That's a four, and you have five in athletics. That's yeah, five in brawl. It's a nine. So I mean, five in brawl. Yeah, so it's a nine. It's a nine die roll. You get him on the ropes. I'm put. I'll burn a point of rage to attack him once I free my cousin. Burn a point of rage. So that adds an extra die, right? No, that this lets me take an additional action. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Whoa, almost lost the die there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna roll. All right, I'm gonna roll. We're gonna. I think we should. We'll roll you at a two. Let's make this. Uh, eight successes. Good. So you so you have damaged so you've nearly killed this guy. What's the what's the second action? 
Actually, yeah, I think at eight successes, you've killed him. You killed him. Yeah. Because yeah. I only have seven points of health. If I hit him seven times, it's, uh, it's up to go beyond the end cap. Yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> All right, so you burned a point of range for another action. What do you want to do? No, that was to attack him. Oh. Okay, so yeah. Well, then I guess what you do is... I guess what you do is then grab your cousin and, cousin and take off. Because <laughs> it's probably past, like, like got blacked out from, like, seeing this shit happen. Yeah. I guess you're going to go and try and find the nearest safe spot. Yes. Which probably means you're going to... Which probably means you're going to end up going a little bit a wall. Under current circumstances, I don't think like uh, I think it's both necessary and like um, like runs doesn't really. Well, he's not even. Th well, it's your first change. You're not even really thinking clearly yeah, anymore. You're, you're on like a, a freaking adrenaline rush. It's fighter. It's as about as fight and fight or flight as you can get. Yeah. So you're. So you're running, you're running, you're running away from the from the combat zone well, as far as you can until you find find what looks like a safe, secluded spot. You hide your you hide your cousin, and you find a place to stand guard. <sighs> You continue just, uh, as the hours go on. You you start to fall asleep again, and because well, even a werewolf's got to sleep at some point. And you drift off into off into your dream again. You're back in the trash heap. Recurring dream. Facing and you're facing Rat again. You did good. I changed. I've never done that before. You're gonna do it all. You're Garou. What does that mean? It means your means your wolf blood. I think what you I think what you what the humans call it is a werewolf. I thought those were only legends in the past. They're real. You're proof of that. Okay. And you've got a, and you've got a mission. That thing you fought, that thing's, that thing was a wor was, was a Fomori, a servant of the worm. Fomori worm. What do those things mean? All you need to know, you know, you know that the world is messed up. You know something's wrong with it, don't you? Yes. That's the worm's the reason why. The worm lives in the corruption and the pol. Bad dog. Bad dog, Leto. Bad dog.
sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. We had no control over this. And then we just gotta wait till Leto stops barking. Do we have any dog lovers in the chat? No? Sorry, I had to like uh, deal with the neighbor. I got to go move the car. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll just put on some tunes just to keep. I'll put on some tunes just to keep you guys busy. I'll look for some. I've got I've got some that's royalty free, and so I won't get. So we're not gonna get flagged. Something just to keep you guys. All right. Hey, here we go. Hope you guys like sent the wave. Oh, good, you're back. Series of interruptions today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, oh, I had some turns to keep them busy. Okay, so. All right. You know, doesn't you know? If you don't mind me asking, is is going to a letter while a shelter dog? Nope. She came from a farm. Both her, uh, both of her parents are working cattle dogs, so they're actually used on the farm to like manage the herds. They manage uh, goats, chickens, and cattle. Hmm. I've been I've been playing with getting a dog. The only problem is because I'm out of the out of the house for most of the day, can't leave it alone. So I looked up dog breeds that do well by themselves, and one that one that has my interest right now is an Akita. Yes, but Akitas are also very uh, large, dominating dogs. So, like, um, you gotta make sure he knows. Them. You gotta make sure he knows. I used them for war dogs. <laughs> that tells you anything. Yeah. So, well, so wait. 
Pacific well, Shield. Yeah, well, that is the Kino. Yeah, well, the Irish bred the bred, bred the Wolfhound to fight wolves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just I, don't know, I just I'm not I'm not big on those little dogs. Those are chick dogs. I know they suck. Drop kick dogs. They don't. Well, they don't. They don't suck. It's just that girl girls get those dogs. They're just they're just chick dogs. Okay. That's why um, my si my sister has a pug because his pug because well he's small and he's cute. Supposedly. <sighs> Well, man, it's it's Pugsley. We gotta kill that thing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so, yeah. Let's kill that pug before he starts gassing the ca gassing the neighbor's cats. <laughs> Nazi pug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Man. man, Daniel, Daniel, where do you live? Oh wait, black bears. He's probably in the northwest. West, we got plenty of those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Getting back. All right, back on track. Oh yeah, now I remember. The. I think it was. Uh, Brett was giving you in your mission. Okay, Arkansas is more Midwest, isn't it? What? Wait, what? It's in the chat. Daniel says he's in Arkansas. Oh. Oh, I'm thinking. Of, yeah, Arkansas is a Midwest state, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And we just got tons of black bears up here in the Northwest. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's get in the mission. I remember correctly. Okay. You know the you know all the the worm lives in the filth. It lives in the pollution. It corrupts everything it touches. And it's your job to fight back at it wherever it is. But it's got but it's got weapons of its own, like that Fomori. Things that will try to get in your way. And they'll end up like it. Some of them will. Some of them are really powerful. Some are going to... Some, you're going to need help. And if you... And don't th and don't think you're going in this alone, because there are others like you. Hmm. In fact, I look after a whole tribe of tribe of werewolves. What are they? What is this tribe called? The Bonars. Hmm. Mm. Boom. And there, uh, you can find them anywhere. Even back at your, even back home, where you, in your home. What do they look like? They could. You'll know. You'll. You'll know when you see them. They'll be the. They'll be. They'll be scrappy. They'll be survivors. They'll be tough. They'll be like you. And they'll be able to. They'll smell the garu blood in you. Okay. There's not much more I can tell you. You're going to have to learn the ways if you're going to survive in this world. And it's not my place to teach you those things. When you get home, 
Um, you're going to, you're going to find the other Bonars. Okay. You'll find them in a place the humans call the jungle. Now, if you guys don't know, oh, this the jungle was a spot around I five up in Seattle where homeless people were squatting. It was basically like a, it was it was basically like a shanty town, but with more drugs. Dream ends. Wake up probably feeling like you've got the worst hangover possible. Uh, my head. <laughs> it hurts. It's been like, oh. And, you f and when you're, as your vision starts to clear, you notice a rifle pointed at you. Uh-oh. That'd be wrong. <laughs> it's your cousin. Wait, what? How do you why you point a rifle at me? <laughs> like Don't move, John. I saw what you did I saw that th what you turned into last night. You You're a fucking werewolf, man. How'd you know that? I saw it happen! You, you... You turn into a werewolf, and then you pulled me away from that thing in the cave, and... I don't know, when I finally came to, we, we were here, and... You were standing... It looked like you were standing guard or something, but... So I didn't move? I just... I, I waited till you fell asleep, and... Sleep, and... Then you turned back and I'm like, I'm like I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I suppose it was a good thing then, huh? I don't know what to I don't know what to think. How long have you been keeping this from me? I just found out last night myself. It was the first time it ever happened to me. Oh my god. Holy shit. Maybe we should ask our parents back home about this. So they know anything. Oh my god, man, we are you and I we're both fucking M we're both fucking AWOL right now. Yes, but not without reason. Something did try to kill us last night. Well, how are we going to explain the fucking werewolf part? Why? No, how? We just tell them we got uh, trapped behind enemy lines and, uh, you know, you got injured and, uh, I could drag you out of there and we ended up here. And we had to sleep here because we pinned under enemy fire. Jesus. All right. Now, how do we explain that you don't have. And then your butt ass naked. I passed out and you were looking for uh, wounds on my body. You cut the clothes off. I don't. Dude, you shredded through your uniform back at that cave. It's nowhere. Like all your. Like, I think you. I don't think you left any of your gear behind. All right, why no? don't you just. Okay, you know what? I did a little. I tried doing a little scouting. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try doing a little scouting. See if maybe there's a village or a town nearby and get you some clothes. You just stay here. Okay. And uh, you probably get out of the sun. Don't want you burning up. But naked in the freaking sun. I mean, it, it's it's much better to be that way, I guess, than like clothed out in the sun where you, you're just roasting in your own uniform. Yeah, but at least you're not getting sunburned. Okay.
Okay. So, yeah. Um, All right. You just stay right here, John. I left some rations and some water behind your God, your pro God knows what that did to you and how you're feeling right now. Actually, that's a good question. I like after the first changes are like, is it kind of normal to feel like super hungry or something? Um, I know your metabolism increases while you're in chronos form, like a lot. Like uh, we calculated it one time, and it was like uh, 500 pounds of cow meat is what it would be needed to feed. How many somebody. calories would that come out to? Probably should go by like one, like how many, ca how many calories one pound of beef, one pound of ground beef has. It comes to five hundred and sixty-eight thousand three hundred twenty-four calories. So we divide that by three. Three thousand, sorry. That's pretty much going to be the max a human being eats. So they're going to consume over 189 times what an average human being would need in a day. Yeah, but that's in Krenos. I mean, like, I'm talking, like, say you once you've, like, shifted back to Hamid. I mean, like, you're that's probably going to take a lot out of you. Yeah, you're probably weak. Um, I roll my survival to create a rock water still. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you've only got one in survival. Should we also roll plus intelligence plus wits? Yeah. All right. So that brings you up to four. No. Yeah, it is four. Okay. Um, I'll s probably not too difficult because there's probably a lot of rocks around. And what yeah. you do is you blow out the rocks and you toss them in, wait till the sun rises, and like uh, collect the condensation on the bottom of it. Yeah, probably. So like um. Something like, probably something like a, like a three. All success. Some extra right. water. Yeah. Yeah, and plus like a, and still like you got the you got the the rations and water your cousin left behind for you. Turn it up. <laughs> I mean, like God knows you're probably feeling super hungry right now. So fair to say, like he's like he probably intended for you to, like he probably, like he probably intended for you to uh, ration those rations, but you're so hungry, you're just gonna wolf all of them down, probably, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, cousin, come, John. Uh, actually, what? actually, we should probably wait. I uh, should probably uh, establish like, how, like how much time's gone by. Probably a few hours. Yeah, a few hours goes by. Cousin comes back. Hey, John, I got you close it. Dude, did you eat all the rations? Yeah, I don't know what happened to me. I thought I was going to pass out. Oh, my God, man. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to assume this, is, this just goes with the werewolf thing and you were just... We are gonna have to find. We're gonna have to find food. Okay, look. This was the best I. Could. Look, I'm sorry, but this was the best I could do. Some kind. Of, a, I was just about to laugh. He well, comes out like a nowhere to like a pink tutu. I'm like, fuck. Probably not. Not in Afghanistan. Like, maybe, I'm thinking like something like uh maybe. You know, like one of those robes, like the, like, they got shepherds out in Afghanistan, don't they? Yeah, of course they most do. People, most people, most people, I forgot their name for it, but now most people there wear them. Yeah. It's like standard garb there. You can't, yeah, whatever those, whatever those robes people in Afghanistan wear are. It's going to make you look like a, it's going to make you look like a muzzy, but it's the best they can do, man. Muzzy. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I guess next we better find food and get back. If if I we better find food, God knows how far we are from camp.
All right. Roll perception plus uh, anything in survival. Yeah, roll perception plus survival. I will look for food. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, three. Yep, it's a three. <clears throat> and uh, I'll set it at a four. Uh, now set it at a five. One success. No, actually, I no, wait, if I, no, wait, if I set it at five. Oh, I just realized I remembered it set it at five, so there's no successes here. We can try again. Hour goes by. Okay. You got a one six. You got a six. That's one success now. We found some crickets, and grasshoppers, and locusts. Yeah. It'll work. Yeah, for now. You got to fence something with more calories if you're gonna make. If you're gonna make it. Man, we really gonna, dude. We really gotta find some of them, them more cowards, like fuck, like like a goat or something. Hey, now that you're a werewolf. I mean, like, do you, didn't you get like any enhanced senses or anything? Yes, like, but I think I have to. <clears throat> I think I have to, to do that again to to get them. You know how? Yeah. So transform. Uh, bro, okay. Why? Well, because when I did this with Culls, like he couldn't, like he said, he when I, when I did this with Ross, he said Culls couldn't figure out how to shape shift yet because he hadn't learned the ways. It's like, does this so it's like shape shifting something that comes naturally to Galru or something? Um, from what I remember in the original book, he he may be right according to like the twentieth edition or whatever, but in the uh. The second edition book, it says like that. Uh, Evan Hills, the past is with Jonas Abarak and the Black Theory, his pack mate. Mary Tyler. Like, yeah. Oh wait, yeah, she she's just like just do it like you were when you were a kid. Just pretend. <laughs> it's the way the book explains it. So um. Hmm. Okay. I guess Cool MP in the chat says yes and no. So, I guess like once you get a handle on, I guess it's something like you you could in theory do nat that would come naturally to you, but it's like unless you like until you really learn it, it's gonna be a bit hard. You might have a yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, has to be something's practiced and trained. Something you have supernatural instinct, like like can you let's you know, let's try that scene over again. Hey, you know, now you're a werewolf. You think maybe you get, you know, like you got you can Wolverine smell or something? Um. I mean, like, you know, like a guy can just, like, can just smell shit. Well, go ahead and roll perception because my character probably doesn't distinguish between, yet, yeah, between being a werewolf and being a human. At least not my as, as far as senses go. All right, and because he, and uh, because he hasn't learned, he hasn't learned the ways yet. Should be that should be tough for him. Like, uh, let's set this at an, let's set this at a seven. Something he could conceivably do, but it's still going to be tough. And he's only got one success, so. Gets like a faint scent on the wind, but he can't tell if that's werewolf senses or just him picking up a, or him picking up a scent. So he's not quite sure. Well, anything? Hmm. Well, you got. Any hey, you catch anything? No. I just smelt something. It's very faint. It's not like a, it's like I can pin where it's at. <sighs> Shit. All right. Well. All right. Um. Let's see if we can. If we get, let's get it to higher ground. Maybe see if we can. Let's get to higher ground. Maybe see if we can find some, find something from there. Yes. 
Let's try rolling. A let's try rolling another perception plus survival. And we'll set this at seven. One success. So, you guys, notice some kind of you guys notice some kind of animal on the distance. Um, I'm gonna roll craft to try to make something to like kill it with. <laughs> so, is that crafts plus intelligence or wits? Crafts plus intelligence. All right, so that's a so that gives us five. No, yeah, no, it's still four. Fuck. Fuck my. I keep. I don't know why this thing is clearly three, and I keep see, And for some reason, my brain keeps saying four. It wants to be four. All right. Okay. Well, this is something that we assume he's good at. So we'll just we'll make the difficulty like three. Three successes. So what are you gonna make? So what are you making? A I suppose the simplest thing would be a spear. Right. So yeah. You got your cousin's probably still got his gut still got his rifle, but he's got but you guys gotta conserve the ammunition. Yeah. So, like, only use it if you have to. So, I managed to make the spear. I'm going to use, uh... I guess... Melee plus... I actually probably should sneak up on that thing first. Roll one in stealth. And, uh, that, would that be a... That would be a dexterity roll, too. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. It's a four. Yep. I'll put it at a five, give you a fair shot. Two successes. So. And it, so for so you get pretty close. Most of it doesn't most of that you're you're able to get uh you're not able to sneak up right behind it, but you've got it in out in your sights at least. Roll a uh, melee plus I guess stamina. Is that is that true? Is that trying to throw the spear? Yeah. Hmm. I would fear. I would figure a spear throw would be like a melee. Like spear throw would be like more like a dexterity roll. All right, we'll go with that. Four. Yep. Okay. Else, I'm at uh, difficulty is set at five. Three successes. <laughs> you kill it. Um, I guess it's a goat. Uh, it says dexterity and athletics. I have a zero in athletics. <laughs> Which he's got zero in. That's a problem. So just re-roll it, I guess, with a... Uh... Well, we can still go with the roll as like a... We can still go with the roll as you just using this... Instead of just tossing the spear, just using... Just stabbing it with it. We can still, we can still work with that. Alright. Yeah. So you get so jet get the goat with a spear. Spear the goat. And that is not an innuendo. Mm -mm. Alright, mm. All right, so you guys So you guys will Okay, uh we're gonna should probably get a fire built. Intelligence plus survival. Gonna say it's a crime most places. They need food, okay? 
And I didn't know what I didn't know what kind of wildlife I don't know what kind of wildlife Afghanistan has. All right. And I think Forrest is frozen on us again. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure the sheep thing is more or of a Welsh thing. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about cool MP. Maybe it's a maybe it's both a Scottish and Welsh thing. Hmm. Hold up, you got something in the Discord. All right, what we lost r runs. I'm gonna prop and uh, set, resend it to him to get him back. Okay, good. Oh, he's back. Okay, good. Um, for building a fire, this would be an intelligence plus survival roll, right? Yes. All right. And you've got to have, and you got to, there's got to be plenty of material you can use for kindling, so that shouldn't be hard. We'll give you a three. We'll give you a three. Three successes. So you guys have got a fire going, and, you, and you're going to roast that goat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. You know, okay. Um, how far do you think we are from camp, John? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like. Let's okay. Let's figure out what time of day. It's probably like some. It's got to be somewhere, somewhere, but around like afternoon, so you guys can. Dude, that is nothing. You should see what we get up to in the Discord. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, it's somewhere. Got to be afternoon, so you can see sunlight. So you can see where the sun. Judge where the sun's position is. Okay. Uh. I don't know. I've gotten okay. Our camp was our camp was westward, so we just got to head towards sundown. All right. And my problem is, is that um, is I don't know how far you carried us. It seems like it seems like when you sh when you change, you just picked a random direction and ran. Hmm. We gotta find a vehicle, man. Like we gotta, like we either gotta find a vehicle or we gotta get a horse. Either way, I'll mention out a game. Like Runs has a zero in drive at this point in the game. Uh, why can't we get? Why can't we give him a, give him a, give him a plus one and drive off the bat? Uh, I guess that's up to his cousin now. I can still find the car in his. His cousin could, like, you know, yeah. Drive it. So, yeah Remember, like, he's only he's only like eighteen and a half at this point, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's always taking like public transit, things like that, you know. So. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, I better ration away the rest. Better ration away the rest of the goat, and then go look for like, and then go see if we can find it. Find anything? Car, motorcycle. Horse, anything to get us across. Yeah, bike. 
Yeah, bike. Hell, though. Just anything that can get us across the desert. Well, okay. No. Okay, not desert. Uh, anything that can get us back to camp fast. Yeah. Alright, so probably should... Okay, so you guys... Uh, you guys eat off eat your bit of the goat and then you ration it away. Yeah. And you pack up and go and go to look for look for a ride. Should roll perception pl fuck, why don't you have any why did you not put anything in investigation? We could really use that right now. Uh well we could actually I we could make this survival. Perception plus survival. But that only gives us three, but it's better than nothing. I mean, this is a survival situation. All right. All right. Yeah, difficulty is five. Two successes. Out of how many? Three. All right. Yeah. Two successes, and you guys find... And you guys find find a horse. Let's take the horse. I guess it would be a camel out in the desert. Now they, got, now they got horses in Afghanistan. That could be like Persians or something. You know, just, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you saw twelve strong, but that's what the that's what those guys get around. All right. Okay, I'll get. Okay, yeah, I'll get the horse and horse, and we'll get moving. Your cousin get your cousin boosts the horse. Okay. Okay, John, get on. Let's go. Hop on. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, take off on horseback back to camp. Yeah. Now, the now we could either get you straight back to the camp or give you an we give you some kind of encounter I don't know, along the way. Yeah, could probably we could probably do like a roll one dice for like safe for like safety. What would really suck though is like losing that horse on the way back. They what? What would really suck is losing that horse on the way back though. Yeah. 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 Just let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll just. Now you get. Well, I think we'll guys cut. We'll cut you guys a break. You just yeah, you know, just ride the horse right back to camp. Yeah. You guys come. You guys come to camp. Camp's border. Or you get stopped by. You get stopped by. Uh, I don't know what they use. Guards, sentinels. Guys Someone. standing. Guy standing guard. He just says, Halt! It's okay. It's me. It's, it's me. It's, it's Randy Paul, my, my cousin John. Look, we got... Look, we got a... Uh, let me... Let me let's start that over. You two are... You to our AWOL. Well, CO1, Lieutenant wants to speak with you. Great. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I am, I am surprised. You two, te you two took off in the middle of a combat zone, abandoned, and abandoned your, and then your squad mates. Mates. 
and now you come back on a stolen horse and horse and private paul has lost his gear as well well explanations yes we we were attacked in the middle of the night in a cave there was a struggle and we had to get away from there. Mintz, I got, he got injured, I got injured. Or he thought I got injured. And he stripped my clothes off and I was knocked out to try to find if I uh, actually been shot. Oh, you better, you better have been shot. <sighs> There'll be a foot. Come out with the side. I draw We have the side punishment in the morning. We're going to be. You'll be. With anything, you'll be lucky if you get dishonorably discharged for this. Crap. Dismissed, men. Well, looks like our career in the French Foreign Legion is about to be over. Well, I guess we're heading back to Seattle. Seattle it is. We've got questions when we get back home. You're not kidding. And with that, we'll we'll stop right here and pick and pick this up in another session. Seems like a good spot. And I guess we'll I guess we'll just do a quick little Q and A and just to wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, just hit them in the chat. Can't tell if there's a delay or anything because it's in. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that actually that actually wasn't bad. That was good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, yeah. I yeah. mean, like the not the. I mean, it was pretty action packed. Like I kind of, I kind of saw this one as being a little bit more, bit more of an action movie than what we got. Oh, with Lexington, which I loved. That was a great one. One. You have you seen any? Have you seen any of the other prologues? What's up to this point? No, I haven't. Oh man, you sh and you should. They're they're good. Are, are they on your channel? Yeah, they yeah they are. I got them all. I got them all tucked away. All the sessions are all tucked away in a special little, special little playlist. So, so assuming so, once we get done with this chronicle, it can be binged. Oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. I'll send you the link like right now. I will say though, after this, like uh, when Runs gets back, he ends up using the money he earns while his he's in service for the French Foreign Legion to become a school teacher, goes to college and becomes a school teacher. That's what he does when he gets back to the states. States. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm sending send it to you right now. Mm. It doesn't look like we're does not look like we're gonna be getting too much from the crowd right now. So we'll just we'll just call this good for now and we'll pick we still got another session we want to knock out today. A very important one actually. Is that this, yeah, this is gonna be one with the this is gonna be one with prob with one or more of more of our pack mates in. And so Stay so stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Hey, Force, before we go, anything you want to plug? No, I think I think we covered it. He gets a uh, he thinks he, oh, <clears throat> sorry. No, I mean, like, you he gotta gets, like, I mean, like you wanna plug, your, plug your YouTube, anything. What do you mean? Like, uh, I mean, like, like, uh, what, like, pe where people can find you, like, find you on. Find you on YouTube, find you on Twitter. Uh, you can you can uh, get a hold of me on Facebook. Um, 
Forrest Johnson dot six, I believe it is, and uh, Electric Wizard on Twitter. Um, okay, and uh, yeah. And I got also got a clearly got a YouTube as well. Yeah, I do have like a sort of a shell of a YouTube, uh, Silly Goblin Zero, which I plan on re redoing over the summer. So that'll be cool. All right, all right. So we'll be right back, guys.